What's up guys? Going to be going over a Wheelix for you guys as fast as possible while also uh, going over all the details obviously. <clears throat> we will start off with the build. Builds can vary with her. Uh, the core is going to be your Warrior Tabby Boots into a Jotun Giraffe. This is where my builds change game to game. Sometimes I like to go into a Heavy Hammer just for, I can't find it, uh, into a heavy hammer just for the control. The control is basically the slow on top of you can outbox an ADC because you're slowing their attack speed. It also has the extra health so you're a little bit tankier. And then I would move into a executioner and from executioner I would move into an Aussie and from Aussie my last item is a rage. This build is ideal for outboxing people, for 1v1ing not for sitting in the middle of a fight and tanking all the damage. Build can vary. You can drop Frostbound Hammer here and get Executioner and then get Aussie here and then get Rage and then get Deathbringer. You can drop Frostbound and get a ta real tank item. You can uh, get Defense. I would recommend Spirit Robe and just get full CDR with that. This build would be, still be very strong. This would probably be one of my more, like I would go more towards this build and this is what I'd be comfortable with. Like I said, the idea is outboxing, 1v1ing. Your ability damage early is still amazing. Your ability damage throughout the whole game is still amazing. But a Wheelix will forever be one of those gods that is great early, can come online super hard in the mid game, the early mid game, and then slowly starts to tinker off, mainly because the other gods catch up on farm, the team fights are taking place, and it's not so much picking people and short and sorry, small skirmishes. So really look to find 1v1s in team fights. Don't actually sit in the middle of the fights. Uh, play to her strengths, which are invades, which are early fights, uh, early mid Harvey fights, those kind of things. And that's really what you're going to look for. Um, aside from the build, you want to max your two. Your two is the most important ability you have. It does a ton of damage. The rotation to land your two is auto, auto, and then two. It's a flip, so you auto, auto, flip. Um, your three is a knock up from the sides and the back if you did not know you max that second then you will max your alt last your alt's gonna give you attack speed that's mainly what it's for uh, you, you max it as your third ability like your third ability that's maxed because right around then is when your auto attack damage is really coming online so to have good auto attack damage ability or uh, items on top of max rank alt is gonna be sick and then you max your jump last because that's 99% of the time used for mobility just running around or getting out of a fight now we will move on to matchups. A Wheelix has a lot of unfavorable matchups. Most of them are not going to be extreme counter matchups. One of the really most annoying counter matchups, in my opinion, is actually going to be like a Bakasura because you can't use your two in it. You cannot use your leap out of it, or out of his alt. I mean, when I say that, it's very annoying. So cripples can be annoying. Poseidon's going to be something you look out for. Um, Thor with the lockdown can be very frustrating. Uh, trying to think not really too many things you want to look to play this god against gods with leaps which are a lot of them Bastet, Fenrir, Hunbats, Kali, Sirket it's a, she is a very very hard counter to Sirket you hear me say that a lot so those are going to be the gods you look to play her against there are going to be mages you really want to play her against a lot of people do not realize that Hades where's Hades Trying to look for Hades. Oh, Hades is a guardian sorry so Hades is actually a guardian I don't know why I didn't think about that so Hades dash actually takes you underground so when you go underground you can pull them out like the the underground dash is technically not on ground so you can alt them out of their dash so you hard counter Hades you hard counter Scylla because she also like dashes underground or whatever it is it's really really weird uh, Neath is something you hard counter Hu Yi a lot of the a lot of hunters with leaps you can just dem demolish on her any of them look to play against those gods while also looking to have knockups on your team, you want to look for Hebos, Gebs on your team, things you can combo off of that aren't too difficult. You really don't have to have those. You can rely on your own knockup because realistically, in a team fight, your knockup is going to be you have you need to land knockups in team fights or you will take a lot of damage. It really negates a lot of that flat damage you're going to eat every time you go into a fight if you can knock up one or two people, and that'll be the key to making your team fight really really strong because your team fight isn't strong so landing that ability using your two to immune damage is very huge and yeah like I said you want to look to box people you want to look to play against the gods I mentioned you want to look to avoid some of the gods I mentioned Thor being a major one 
um, anything with Lockdown and Cripple. And then look to have some gods on your team with knockup because if you have early knockup, it's easy to burn beads. Hebo is probably the easiest, honestly, to like guarantee, but Hebo is not a good god. So you're probably going to have Geb on your team when you're picking your Wheelix most of the time. And that's a pretty safe combo, pretty strong. The fact that you have a Geb on your, shield, on your team for shields is going to be amazing. And yeah, I really do hope this video helped. Uh, if you guys could like the video, subscribe, comment, let me know if there's more information you feel I didn't cover because I, I really feel like I went build abilities, gods to play against, gods to avoid, how to cover the team fights. I don't really know much else I could tell you. Just practice her. She's really fun. She's probably one of the most fun gods for me in the jungle. And I recommend you play her. Maybe not play her at the, the competitive level or at a ranked level, but really try her out. Let me know how it goes. I appreciate all your guys' support. And I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, this you crazy mother.